President Barack Obama was greeted by a large and enthusiastic crowd in his adopted hometown of Chicago, where his political career began more than two decades ago. It's good to be home. The president said the United States is a better, stronger place than when he took office in 2009. If I had told you eight years ago that America would reverse the Great Recession, reboot our auto industry, and unleash the longest stretch of job creation in our history, if I had told you that we would open up a new chapter with the Cuban people, shut down Iran's nuclear weapons program without firing a shot, take out the mastermind of 9-11. If I had told you that we would win marriage equality and secure the right to health insurance for another 20 million of our fellow citizens, If I had told you all that, you might have said our sights were set a little too high. Acknowledging the current political divide in the country, Obama urged Americans to seek common ground with one another, saying that while democracy does not require uniformity, it does require a basic sense of solidarity. The president warned that the United States faces a series of threats to democracy, such as the nagging so, issues of economic and racial inequality. If every economic issue is framed as a struggle between a hard-working white middle class and an undeserving minority, then workers of all shades are going to be left fighting for scraps while the wealthy withdraw further into their private enclaves. But Obama said he was more optimistic about America now than when he took office and called on citizens to remain engaged in the democratic process. I am asking you to hold fast to that faith written into our founding documents, that idea whispered by slaves and abolitionists, that spirit sung by immigrants and homesteaders and those who march for justice, that creed reaffirmed by those who planted flags from foreign battlefields to the surface of the moon. A creed at the core of every American whose story is not yet written. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Richard Green, VOA News, Washington.